we will remain focused on the most serious long-term challenge to the international order, and that's posed by the People's Republic of China. China is the only country with both the intent to reshape the international order and increasingly the economic, diplomatic, military, and technological power to do it. Beijing's vision would move us away from the universal values that have sustained so much of the world's progress over the past 75 years. China is also integral to the global economy and to our ability to solve challenges from climate to COVID. Put simply, the United States and China have to deal with each other for the foreseeable future. That's why this is one of the most complex and consequential relationships of any that we have in the world today. Over the last year, the Biden administration has developed and implemented a comprehensive strategy to harness our national strengths and our unmatched network of allies and partners to realize the future that we seek. We are not looking for conflict or a new Cold War. To the contrary, we're determined to avoid both. We don't seek to block China from its role as a major power, nor to stop China, or any other country for that matter, from growing their economy or advancing the interests of their people. But we will defend and strengthen the international law, agreements, principles, and institutions that maintain peace and security, protect the rights of individuals and sovereign nations, and make it possible for all countries, including the United States and China, to coexist and cooperate. Its treatment of ethnic and religious minorities in Xinjiang and Tibet, along with many other actions, go against the core tenets of the UN Charter that Beijing constantly cites and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that all countries are meant to adhere to. To countries around the world committed to building an open, secure, and prosperous future, let's work in common cause to uphold the principles that make our shared progress possible and stand up for the right of every nation to write its own future. Zhi 德克萨斯州的校园发生恶性枪击事件，这尤其令人心痛。美国广大普通民众，包括少年儿童的生命权，都难以得到保障。我可以给大家几个数字：，二零零一年以来，美国在约八十个国家。以反恐之名发动战争种族主义根深蒂固非洲裔亚洲裔等少数族裔对美国存在的人权问题开展调查并提交报告。Obviously, China does not at all accept the U.S. as moral authority since it thinks that the U.S. is not at all living up to its own proclaimed standards. In contrary, the U.S., for example, performed, according to the Chinese Foreign Ministry, at least 800,000 killings, of which more than 300,000 civilians, in their military operations in at least 80 different countries just since 2001. In other words, who is the US to play the role of a moral authority?